What's up, guys? It's your boy, God Slayer God on here. And today, we are going to be talking about if the side movies are, and the series is canon of Star Wars. So, let's say, like, The Mandalorian. Is The Mandalorian canon? That's basically what we're going to be talking about today. But, um, I think you might have got a glimpse of it. But, um, you can see... I finally got Happy Frog, and for wondering why I haven't been collecting any of these, it's because, um, at w Walmart, the Walmart that I go, they just got these re, like, re stock, stock, like, yesterday, and the only ones that were there were, like, a, a ton of Mr. Hippos and one Happy Frog, so I didn't get, uh, another Mr. Hippo, because one is enough, these things are, like, ten dollars a piece, so, yeah, I know, I'm cheap, whatever, so, um, I only got Happy Frog, because it was the only new one that I didn't get, the only one that I haven't gotten out of that stack of FNAF plushies, um, so, yeah, um, uh, I will be making a separate video on Happy Frog, so leave a like down below if you want to see that, um, so, there are a ton of Star Wars movies, in fact, there is nine, and there is series of them, like the Clone Wars, Rebels, Rebels, don't watch Star Wars Re Rebels, just don't. Then there's Mandalorian, and then there's the side movies, which is, like, Solo, then there's Rogue One. Um, <clears throat> I heard, I didn't watch Rogue One or Solo, but I heard they were good movies. And, by the way, I'm not hating on any of these movies. Like, I'm actually a pretty big fan of Star Wars. See, I have the Baby Yoda picture back there. And I also have my, um, you can also see a Rogue One picture. Or a frame um under my uh, diploma. <laughs> so happy about that. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Um. First one we're gonna be talking about is um the Mandalorian. So I would say that the Mandalorian isn't canon, and it's because we even though like that even though baby yoda's in there and yoda was a character that's not the original yoda actually baby yoda is from is the mandalorian takes place like years after like the um rise of the skywalker and definitely like decades after yoda died so um Baby Yoda is not the same Yoda that uh, we all know and love. Um, so if so, basically, if, ba if that Baby Yoda right there, if that Baby Yoda was the ba the Yoda that was in the um the one that trained um Luke, then um yes, that means part of it would be canon. But since that's not the same Baby. Since that's not that's not the same Yoda, we um I'm gonna count him as non-canon. But you guys are probably like, well, what about the Mandalorian? Well, I think we only see like two, uh, Mandalorians. Um, well, three because of the new Mandalorian. But we see Bobo Fett and Jojo Fett. I think that's the name, Jojo Fett was the uh the one in the blue armor and Boba Fett the, the one that we all know and love is the one with the green armor. So the Mandalorian since it is a series and it's not a movie like Rogue One. Next up is the Clone Wars. Now this one the Clone Wars series. Now this was a hormone because like for one even though it is a tv series it does have the all the characters it has the the original anakin it has obi-wan it has ahsoka and it does have yoda in it so i will count the man not the man alone the clone wars the series as canon now, the next one will be, well, two are going to be on this because I don't want to make this, I'm not, I don't want this to drag out too long. So, um, so Rogue One and Solo, um, Rogue One and Solo, 
Rogue One is, I would count it as canon, even though we are introduced to a bunch of new characters. Darth Vader is in it, is in the movie, and Darth Vader is canon. So, it's canon. And then we're, uh, Solo. Now, since Sol the movie Solo, the main character of the movie Solo is Han Solo, and that is the same Han Solo that we know from all the movies, so, uh, Solo, a, a Star Wars story, and Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and Solo, a Star Wars story, is, in fact, canon. Next one is Star Wars Rebels. Yeah, even though Star Wars Rebels did have Darth Maul, still, there's just too many non-canon -can, non characters in there, since there was a limited amount, since there wasn't a buttload of characters in, like, Rogue One and Solo, I count that as canon, because the reason why I count Solo as canon is because it has a lot of characters that are canon that were in the original movies. Like, there's, of course, Han Solo and Chewie. I'm pretty sure R2-D2 was in there. <clears throat> so, yeah. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot of, like, Rogue One and Solo. Because, like, like I said, I didn't watch them. But I did hear they were good movies. And I did hear a bunch of theories about them. <clears throat> so, um... <clears throat> No. Okay, for one, I'm just gonna get this off my chest. I don't like Star Wars Rebels. It doesn't make sense. For one, how is there a lightsaber that is also a gun? Yeah, that was pretty cool, but that doesn't make any sense. So, is it just like bang bang and then you can just switch it over, slice people? That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> and then, like, the very first villain was like. <laughs> He was like a, <clears throat> like this Darth Maul ripoff. Like, you you guys know who I'm talking about. He had like the, the like the dual thing, but there it was like a rim around it, like guard, like handle guards. But, and it like spin. Now, that was a cool lightsaber, but he was obviously just a great value version of Darth Maul. No one's going to top Darth Maul. He was the original person to wield a dual lightsaber, so no one's ever going to top him. So, um... So I I just really don't like um um uh rebels. It doesn't make any sense. The end was pretty cool. Um, how like Ahsoka battled Darth Vader. I don't know. Like she probably died. I thought the ending was satisfying, but the rest was no no. The the rest of the series, especially the beginning, was not good. But the final arc where in the the last episode was actually really good. Yeah, there was some good episodes, but I would I, I would give it a D or no, I would give it a C cuz the ending was pretty good and uh it did it did have a lot of cool fight scenes but i thought it wasn't that good of a series but i thought it did have some good fight scenes in the ending like i said i thought it was really good and satisfying so i'm gonna give it a c but no i'm not gonna count it as canon because um for one it has too many non-canon characters and our main character isn't canon so yeah star wars rebels is not canon but the last one that we're going to get into um, is actually, no, no, that's a Lego one. So, no, Lego Star Wars does not count. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, I know it was random, but um, I just wanted to talk about it. Um, leave your thoughts down in the comments if um, YouTube will, because, um, like, sometimes, like, my comments will be there, but no one comments on them. But, like, the almost all my videos, my comments are turned off. But anyways, like and subscribe for more content like this. And like if you want to see a whole review on, ha on Happy Frog. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.